Hello, Georgie B back again. I'm back again, but I'm going to come back part time for a little while. The reason why is on the 16th, 17th of October, whenever it was, I was blue lighted to hospital with pneumonia. Bad pneumonia. I was in hospital for a week. I've now been out two weeks and I'm still not right. It's, they said it will take about six weeks to recover. So I am just taking it easy. Now the cards I'm going to show the film are ones I made before I was sick. I have made two I think since I've been out of hospital. But what I'm going to do is just film some cards and just show them on a Monday and a Friday. Just for a little while longer till I recover. But before we get into making this card, I've got something to show you. My sister went to a car, uh, craft fair, the one we usually go to in Peterborough in October. Well, she went when I was in hospital and she bought me a lucky bag. And you ought to see what was in this lucky bag. I got this bag. Crate and Craft runs the um, craft fair. Now this bag cost me, or cost my sister, £20. Right, the first thing we got in this, what do we get in here? Oh, this is just papers and some cutouts. Nothing spectacular, you say. I most probably won't use these, but I know someone who will, and I shall pass them on. Right, I've got. Some We Are Memory Keepers number punches. Um, a sun and the word hello die. You are my sunshine. Uh, some A4 independent cutting plates. Now, I don't have an A4 cut, uh, die cut machine. I've only got the small big shop, but we do have a big big shop at our card class. So I will take them and put them with that. And we'll have a spare bit of plates. Another Kit and Kaboogle trimmer. So I've got two trimmers. I do use this one now and again. But um those are these horrible things, uh, gold and silver, what else did we get, there was loads of them, oh, some metallic brush markers, ink belly they're called, and there's ten in a packet, I will use these on one of my cards. Um, remember this only cost £20 I don't know how much these are when you buy them separately I've never had to buy A4 ones dies all oh, these, somebody wants these so they can have them but we've also got a die cutting machine a Kitsukun Boodle die cutter machine and extendable plates. I have used this. And you get two B and an A. Uh, two Bs are to emboss, so you can emboss them long skinny ones or small. Um, Embossing folders and an A and a B to cut. So they're quite really good. 
as you'll see me use that. When I make some cards, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I mean to, these retail for £39.99. And I got this. Oh, and we got uh, extra, no, where are they? Another set of plates. So we got a set of plates which were in the box with this, with the cutter, and then we also got an extra set of plates. So I've gone after buy plates for that for a long time. So I think the lucky bag was worth it. They're saying that we had a hundred and thirty-five pound worth of stuff. We also got this. So you got two of them sticky pickup pens, four glue sticks, two sheets of stick it to A4 stencil sheets, two sheets of stick it to A4 heat resistant acetate sheets, two pickup pencils and four glue sticks in this pack. So I think that little rocky bag was well worth the twenty pound. So let's get rid of that. Put on the floor, <coughs> out the way. Right, and let's get on to some card making. So today we're going to use this. This stamp set is a carryover, so it carried over from last year, and we're just going to use that image. And then this is a new one, Word of Cheer. Now I have only bought two Christmas stamps this year, and we're going to use Sending You Christmas Cheer out of this one. Card stock I've got. Oh, and I haven't got a card blank. Hang on, let me get a card blank. I forgot to get one. I've got a card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I've got a piece of Seaside foam, and I've only got one bit left, and that is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have got a piece of Whisper White at five and five, no, five and three eighths, no, five and a half by three and three quarters, and I've already embossed that, and I embossed that with this snowflake embossing folder. This doesn't have a name on it. Just one I found in my box, so I used it. I have already cut out these with some dies. Please don't ask me which ones I used. They are stamping up dies, but I can't remember which ones I used. Um, no, they've just gone out of my head, so I don't know which dies I used. But maybe one of you will know. And you need a one inch strip of the DSP that goes with the um, seaside, is it seaside spray? Yeah, seaside spray. So I haven't trimmed that down at the sides. I've got a length of ribbon somewhere, which will go over the top of that as well. And I have got a bow which will need cutting down. So let's get stamping. Get rid of this. But that's one side. All we're going to do is stamp on this. So what we're going to do is with our memento on my yellow stained stamp. And we're going to stamp. We get a bit of scrap because I'm I don't want 
that tree. Uh, I don't want that tree on my image. So we're going to stamp that down there. in first before I use that in case I smudge it. Right I've got seaside spray and we're just going to colour this in. Dead easy just every other one. Stand with this hat. Didn't get an orange out. <coughs> um, what's this one? Dark Calypso Coral. Colour in his nose. <coughs> and I've got my grey. Light smoky slate, and I'm just going to draw a line round the hole. Snowman, just to help it pop. around his arms. And that's all my colouring done. That's all I did. Now for the sentiment. And we just pop that in the middle. Sending you Christmas cheer. That is the stamping done. <coughs> Just cleaning off the stamp. Actually starting my new absorbers. <laughs> right, now we're going to glue this all together. I'll glue this. filled up all my glue bowls and oh, my sister also got me some a couple of bottles of my glue two pound cheaper than they were in the shop which I'm pleased about right with this Going to glue on. Let's put that in the middle. Out there. And then just off the excess and 
and then the ribbon we're going to put over like that but we need a bit of runner tape either side of the paper so we can Now what I am going to do is find my glue dots and just pop one under the ribbon in the middle just to stop it moving about. And that will go on there but I'm not going to put that on there until I've actually glued it all down because we've got some snowflakes which I didn't tell you about I got almost not all of them as I have a lot of snowflake dies and cut out a few I actually cut out too many when I made the first card so I'm just going to use up what I cut out that time. Right, and this will go on. Getting you can't see when it's close to me. And pop that on there. Right, that's going to go there. And we've got all these snowflakes here, which I obviously I said I cut out before. So what we're going to do is tuck these under, I've got two the same there, so I'm going to put one this side. top of the ribbon like that I've got three left over that's how my snowflakes are gonna go so Glue all over them. And this one. one side done. We're going to put this on dimensionals. I'm 
I don't want that on the ribbon. So. Lucky this glue dries matte. So if any dust got out at the sides, it's not going to be shiny. And this one. Just there. And um, what? Right, we'll pop this on. Like that. Straight? No. And then, this needs trimming down. Bit of ribbon, a bit of ribbon, a bit of glue, and hold it down. And then we need some gems. We're only doing three. Make sure they're lined up. There we are. Now I have pre stamped stamp a sentiment, and these have come out. I think I've come out of that. Wishing you a joyful Christmas. Yeah, they've come out of this one. Wishing you a joyful Christmas. So I'm going to pop that in. I stamped a few of these out. Because I keep forgetting to do them. And there is our card for today. When you see this, it will be Friday the... Oh, it's tomorrow, tomorrow. My wedding anniversary tomorrow, 47 years. So Friday the 12th, I think, of November. I hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, but until I get better, they'll just be Mondays and Fridays. 
all I can say is thanks for visiting. I hope to see you again soon.